Hey, what's up everyone? This is Srick360. Today we're going to be talking about the new Attack on Titan game on Xbox One. Uh, from what I've played so far, it is perfect. I mean, really perfect fitting with the anime. Like, the graphics are amazing. They really, they really, it really does have the look of the anime with, especially it gives you the feel of it when you're whipping around town in your, with your omnidirectional unit. That was like basically the most, the, the two most important things that they needed to make this game work were to, first of all, match the look of the anime. Because if it doesn't look like the anime, it just feels weird playing, you know, when you play games like based off anime and it just looks worse than the actual show. The second thing they needed to do was really make sure that you actually felt like you were flying around fighting titans. Because that 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 could be a very hard gameplay mechanic to get to work, but they seem to do a pretty good job right now. Also, uh, a friend asked me that because they never actually watched the Attack on Titan anime, they wonder if, if they were to be lost in this game, like, story-wise. But it's, uh, so far it's a pretty faithful recreation of the first season. I mean, you don't really... I didn't notice anything, like, really too different, to be honest. They clearly explain everything. Like, the origin of the humans, and basically just the events that happened in the first season. Like, the Battle of Trost, and, you know, this giant turd. It's not something you want to have sneaking up behind you, honestly. But yeah, there's just like plenty of iconic moments from the anime and everything. It's just pretty... Overall, it's just a nice, really nice anime game. Okay. This video this video is not going to be very long. It's only going to be about 12, 13 minutes. I'm just going to do a just a run-through of one mission. Basically, just to show off the gameplay and everything. And obligatory flashback. Yep. <laughs> These titan, the titan, the titans are just so weird, ugly, and misshapen looking, which which just makes them kind of kind of creepy, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty funny if you're just thinking naked people. Giant naked people running around. But uh, just like, they look so weird and just nasty. Pretty much like the anime. Yeah, there's a lot of tutorials. This game loves its tutorials. Yeah. Basically. What you need to do is, you have to, there's a soft spot, they're like, Titan's weak spot is the back of their necks. If you chop that hard enough, you kill them. But uh, to make things easier, oh, achievement popped. To make, the, <laughs> to make things easy, sorry, I get easily distracted. But uh, to make things easier, you could just like, chop the back of their legs. That way they slow, I don't know, that way they slow down, they move a lot slower. Or if you chop both their legs, they just, you know, collapse onto the ground. But, uh, usually I go for the back of the legs first, but, uh, some of the bigger ones, they're very annoying, they grab at you a lot, so you have to chop at their arms so they can, you know, so they don't grab you and try to eat you. Because it's, once they grab you, it's, you take quite a bit of damage. Once again, tutorials, explanations. Gotta get out of dodge. Uh, just, see, it's kind of hard to get around them sometimes when they're running after you. You can just hammer them. 
like a boss. But um, see, basically, you can you can see the little meter there. You have a gas meter. Uh, it, it expends gas every time you charge. Like if you want to move really fast, because when you're moving in on a Titan, you have to go a certain speed to chop them to get in that like extra damage. So to do that, you can either like you can advance towards them like from farther away, or you can just try to boost in real quick with the booster. But it ex expends gas, like I said, and if you have no gas, you can't use it, and it kind of sucks. <laughs> so you want to you want to just take them down as fast as you can. Uh, the blades is right on the blade meter is right under your gas and if basically you run out of blades you're not going to be doing any damage so you might want to keep an eye on that but the last thing you want to do is be in the middle of fighting a titan and your goddamn blades break so you got to keep those refilled you can only carry a certain amount of blades but you can you can upgrade equipment so you can carry more and also during the level, you can find people that'll help replenish your you know, gas and blades. And your, and your healing potions. You have a little healing potion too in case you do take damage. Now generally the game awards you more if you take out a titan by hitting all his other spots first. Like instead of just going for the neck, you take out his arms, both arms, you take out both legs. It's like a complete subjugation bonus. Plus, uh, you're also sometimes it shows that you can get him materials just by you know, attacking a certain part. I'm kind of yeah. okay. I thought I'd be kind of stuck here. I should have let him come in more. Yeah. I haven't played this game online yet, but apparently you can play it multiplayer co-op. That's got to be fun. I mean, because one of the coolest parts about Attack on Titan is like, just like the teamwork and taking down Titans. You see all the other, all your friends and allies are just zipping around, flying through the air, chopping at them. It's pretty cool. You can take up to, I believe, three different allies with you when you're playing the main campaign solo. Like you can find soul, you can. There are different ranks. Like you know, S rank is the best soldier you can find. But usually you find like D and C ranks around the beginning of the game. Whenever you see a soldier standing there, you can just command them to come with you. Yep, boss fight. It's like how slow they like this guy moves. It just really emphasizes like his size, you know. Like he just moves like it looks like he's going really slow, but I guess to him it's fast. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can use. There's, there's sometimes in the levels there's cannons scattered around, and you can use those to fight the titans. I mean, it's pretty good, but I mean, it's, it's more, <laughs> I find it's more fun when you're just taking him out normally. So now I gotta... This is like a special boss fight, so you just gotta hit them where they tell you.
really though, if, if one tiny cannon could pretty much put a stop to this guy, humanity wouldn't really have to worry about titans that much. Yeah, I know, I'm going for an unethical nut shot, but I'm immature, what can I tell you? I just can't help myself. <laughs> Boom. And that's it. <laughs> if you've seen the anime, you know you pretty much know what to expect from the story. There's no like there's, I don't think there's any extra surprises or anything thrown in there. Yes, yeah, so, so so far so good. It seems like a pretty good game. I don't know how. I don't know. Maybe it'll get repetitive later on. I guess. Yeah. We'll wait and see. I'm definitely interested in finding out though. This is a, it's a really cool game. And in addition, once you like, well, you can play it any time. But there's like a. Oh boy, I forgot the name of it. But there's another mode. Like I said, you can play online and uh, level up your characters and everything. Play multiplayer co-op. Go out on missions and all that. Uh, I think it's scouting or something like that. Scout mode. And you can see here, once you complete a mission, it gives you your grade and it gives you all your stats and all that usual stuff you would expect from a game like this. You can use all these materials to like research new equipment and all that stuff. Alright, so thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by and watching, guys. And see, oh, another achievement. Okay. And, <laughs> and I'll see you around next time. Bye.